Right now, we get once again a chance to talk with our friend, uh, the uh, artistic director at Music Mountain, Oscar Espina Ruiz, and we'll talk a little bit about the concerts that are coming up this Saturday and Sunday, the jazz on Saturday and the chamber music concert coming up on Sunday. And we say good morning and uh, happy birthday, America. Oscar, how are you? Good morning and happy happy birthday, America, for sure. Happy July 4th. Yeah, it was a great weekend, and we can't wait for this um, coming up weekend. Uh, you know that this year the theme of the season is Here Comes the Sun. Uh, and no, it's not the Beatles. <laughs> In this case, the reference is to uh, Franz Joseph Haydn, the wonderful classical composer, who really fathered the string quartet as we know it today, in 1772, he wrote a set of quartets, uh, Opus 20, um, uh, actually, 17, yeah, 1772, uh, Opus 20, that were called the Sun Quartets, and they were called the Sun Quartets because the publisher put um, a picture of a sun in the cover, and no other reason than that. But, well, here we are. They were known as the Sun Quartets for 250 years, and then we hopped on the theme to present them at Music Mountain just because, well, we're celebrating 250 years of the Sun Quartets, but also we're celebrating Music Mountain. We're celebrating music. Uh, Music Mountain wouldn't be here without Haydn's Sun Quartets and what came after, I mean, Thanks to those quartets, we had Mozart, we had Beethoven, and we had Brahms, and we had everything that followed. So this coming Sunday, July 10th, we start the series of the Sun Quartets. And it's going to be six concerts, uh, each one presenting one of the six Sun Quartets. On July 10th, uh, it will be the Pendereski String Quartet, and what's quite wonderful is that we are also going to have a pre-concert talk at 1.30, July 10th at 1.30. It's a free concert, a free pre-concert talk by a scholar about the Haydn um, Sun Quartet. So we will get really to know all the details and stories surrounding this this time in history and this time in the life of Haydn, and why these sun quartets are so important. So that's coming up on July 10th at Music Mountain, 1.30 pre-concert talk, and 3 o'clock the concert. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's always, I've learned in my 69 years that uh, I love everything uh, from uh, Jethro Tull to the Beatles to uh, uh, the ACDC, um, but there was a time in my life where I was exposed early on, uh, courtesy of a man by the name of Herbert Moore, to classical music. And mm. if you were to listen to any tapes or CDs that I've made over the years, um, there's always a great deal of uh, classical music uh, and chamber music on it. Why? Well, simply because it never goes out of date, and it's very relaxing. I especially play it. Uh, when I'm driving on long drives in the car. And one of the things you get out of Music Mountain is not only do you get, there's nothing like hearing music live, first of all, but there's also nothing like hearing unamplified music live in a hall that's designed for this type of music. And then you couple that with being outdoors before the concert, walking around. I mean, Music Mountain truly is a special place. There's a lot of great places to hear concerts inside. There's no doubt about it. Big places, small places. But Music Mountain really is a very, very unique and different place, Oscar. Yes, it's very special. We could we could enjoy exactly that this past weekend with the wonderful weather. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's just gorgeous. The drive is part of it, the scenic drive up to Music Mountain. And then listening to uh, you know music as it is created right in front of you, a few feet away from you, is very special. Every movement has an influence on how the sound is created. 
So it's there is it's there's a physicality to producing uh, the sound almost like in dance that when we listen to a recording we don't fully enjoy. So when we go to a live concert, it's visual, it's oral, and it's the whole experience, the whole experience of being there and there is something intangible I would say that we musicians feel from the stage and that the audience feels uh, as well that fits one another uh, I was uh, hearing from the string quartet after the first half that uh, the audience was re- listening so attentively they played this piece by uh, Rena Smail an American composer with roots in India and uh, this was a, a string quartet called Ragamala, based on Indian ragas, and just quite, quite uh, nostalgic. I would say a, a meditative piece uh, rather than nostalgic, and it was quite long and a very different music from what we usually present. Uh, I would also add very beautiful, but let's just stay with very different. And the, mu- the audience was listening attentively. Then I could see how the string quartet on the stage was really reacting to that, going even deeper in their performance, you know, reaching maybe softer sounds, uh, uh, going going a step farther because they are feeding one another. And it's that's really, really special. This happens live. You see them, they see you, and the experience is unique. It happens once. It's in the air, and it's gone. Then it just stays with you. Uh, you just can reminisce about that wonderful performance of, of a given string quartet at Music Mountain. It happens in person. It happens in the moment. That's uh, live performance, and yes, that's Music Mountain. Very special. Now let's go to Saturday, because on Saturday you have your your evening jazz concerts, and I love this band that you have coming up, uh, and... Uh, uh, that is, uh, uh, they've been here before. Uh, New Orleans style jazz uh, uh, is going to be performed. Yes. Um, so July second. Uh, no, I'm sorry. July ninth. Coming up. Uh, yeah, new Black Eagle Jazz Band. Oh, this is a special one. I, I was just uh, corresponding with their leader, and we were trying to figure out when was the first performance of the. New Black Eagle Jazz Band at Music Mountain because they are celebrating their 40th anniversary. And over time, like in every ensemble, some members change. But, uh, yeah, the New uh, Black Eagle Jazz Band has been performing worldwide for 40 years. And they will be coming to play at Music Mountain this Saturday, July 9th at 7 p.m., and they play, yes, traditional jazz mostly, uh, gospel, blues. Uh, it's a, it's a, a wonderful traditional jazz that at Music Mountain also lots of people really love. I guess that we are uh, uh, bringing back to life the tradition in addition to modern composers. But the tradition is a big part of what we do both in classical music and in jazz. So this Saturday that will be with a new Black Eagle Jazz Band at 7 p.m. on July 9th. And uh, we remind people that tickets are available online, musicmountain.org. You can also uh, call the box office, 860-824-7126. So you're now uh, well into the season so far, Oscar. In the last couple of minutes here, uh, how are things going and uh, what's, what's what's on tap on the horizon for us? Yeah, I mean, things are going great. Remember, Marshall 2021 was a very difficult year. We were coming out of the pandemic, and we were just wondering and changing uh, things as we went along, uh, just to keep our audience safe, because that's always the most important. Here we are in 2022, and we are still just looking at those numbers and wondering if we should you know, change anything. We still get some patrons that are a little bit concerned about attending concerts indoors. So we follow we follow the CDC, we follow the state mandate, and many people wear masks indoors. And, um, you know, we want to be safe, but uh, we, are, we are starting to wonder uh, if we should uh, bring back those screens for the lawn. 
currently I, I hear from patrons that uh, on the beautiful lawn at Music Mountain where we can hear the concerts with uh, audiophile speakers um, and currently we don't have screens. People say, Oscar, no, don't worry about the screens. We just love hearing the concert. And, and more and more people are enjoying the concerts outdoors, actually, on Sunday, on Sunday afternoons. Uh, and this comes all the way back from the time that Music Mountain opened its 16 French doors and the music would just flow onto the lawn and people enjoyed it. Uh, I could see that yesterday with the beautiful weather, people on their own picnic chairs, on uh, picnic blankets, just enjoying the nature and the gorgeous view while they were listening to the concert as it was happening. So it seems like we are still able to to, uh, serve everybody. If somebody is really concerned about the, those numbers, uh, those rising numbers uh, due to the pandemic. I mean, they can also enjoy the Sunday concerts outdoors or wear a mask, come inside. Our uh, top priority is to keep everybody safe. And so far, I think we are, we are there and we are able to continue to present concerts safely. So we, we look forward to continuing through September 18th. Yeah, every summer, uh, weekends, uh, music floats out of Gordon Hall at Music Mountain, Saturdays at 7, Sundays at 3 o'clock, all the way from June to September 18th all at right. Music Mountain. And people once again get more information from musicmountain.org. Oscar, have a great week and weekend, and we'll speak to you again next week. Yes, thank you so much, Marshall. Take, Take care. care. Uh, once again, uh, Oscar Louise, uh, the artistic director at Music Mountain, musicmountain.org.